if you don't have much garden or you don't have much space to work with, growing in 10 inch pots might be just the thing for you. This is an Annabelle, a set aside potato grown in a 10 inch pot. I blind it with shopping bags because I intend to harvest these potatoes so that I don't have to lift them uh, and it can go back in the pot and grow on, uh, extending the growing season. So I have four pots today that I'm going to do this with. Uh, let's see how many potatoes we can get off these four pots and yet still not lift the potatoes, still have them growing in the pots uh, when we've removed these potatoes and let's see if we can't get a meal. I'll show you first how to remove the um, potato from the pot without damaging the roots. This is a shopping bag method. Simply grip the shopping bag with your uh, the pot with your feet. Lift the shopping bag. No root disturbance. Now I'm going to do that with um, four potatoes uh, that I've got standing here, and we're going to see if we can take some potatoes off them. Um, without actually um, destroying the plant so that these four potatoes will carry on growing and the small ones that are on there will, cook, will become bigger potatoes when we do eventually have to turn the pots out when the plants stop growing. I'll just pop this back in for a moment and then we'll load them up onto a table. Okay, so the first potato we're going to look at is Annabelle. Annabelle was a set aside potato, um, so it wasn't bought as a seed potato, it was bought to eat, but I, I simply set some aside. Look how easy it is to roll the bag off to expose the root ball. And if there's any potatoes external that look to have any size about them, we'll take them, and the smaller ones we'll leave to grow on. Okay, I'll just turn this round to make sure you can see this. We'll take this one. I'll just ease it out. Ooh. We'll take this one. We'll just turn it round nice and slowly. That looks like a nice one there. We'll take that one. Oh, we'll have another here. And that one, I think we'll take that one as well. It's big, but we'll take it. Okay. Now, I still see there are small potatoes showing, but they're too small to tear. And I know there will be some potatoes in the middle of this root ball. But what I intend to do now, is tease this bag back up, these two shopping bags. As you can see, there's been very little disturbance of that plant, and this is going back in the pot now to grow on. So, from that one potato, Annabelle, which was a set-aside potato, we've harvested four potatoes, okay? and we haven't destroyed the plant, it's still growing and we've got four potatoes, that's not a bad start. This potato is rocket, this was a seed potato. Um, and we'll see what we can get off rocket without breaking up the root ball. I think we'll have this one. This one seems to be thicker than the one nearest. I think we'll leave that one, we'll leave that one for the time being. Because if we're looking for a meal, remember we've already got four potatoes. Oh! <laughs> That's a rocket! <laughs> Right. Oh, 
and there's another one round this back side I'm going to show you that I'm going to take this one here, you can see that one, we're going to leave that one we we'll take this one, if it was a fairly sizable potato right and we'll tie, tease these bags back up simple as and we'll lift this back in the pot and Rocket lives to fight another day and we've got four potatoes that's four potatoes from Rocket so that's eight we have in total So the next potato we're going to look at is Charlotte. Charlotte was a set-aside potato. We'll see if we can get anything off Charlotte. But we have enough for a meal off those two, to be honest. Those are fairly sizable potatoes. Right, nothing on this side. Spin it round. Oh, we'll get one Charlotte there. Another bad potato. And we'll have this boy as well. Two Charlottes. Okay. We'll whip this bag back up. And pop this back in the pot. Go on. Two Charlottes. And last of all, Red Duke of York. Coming from this side, I think. This is Red Duke of York. Lift him off the bag. Off the pot. And let's see what Red Duke of York has to offer. Turn him around. One, two, and no more red juke of So we'll have two red juke of your. Pull the bag back up. Put red juke of your back in the pot. And he lives to fight another day. Now for the all-important weighing. Um, we'll put the potatoes on the scales first in reverse order. We've got a couple of red Duke of York. Two. We've got another two. Charlotte. It's four potatoes. We've now got four Rocket. That's eight potatoes. We've now got four Annabelle. That's 12 potatoes. So we've got 12 potatoes. We haven't actually lifted a potato. All those potatoes are still in the pots, still growing. How good is that? That's got to be an accompaniment for two, meal for two, an accompaniment for two at least. Right. Let's add some weights to this scale. Half a pound. Twelve ounces. Sixteen ounces, that's got to be a pound. Four ounces. Five, six ounces. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Take that off. Put the one on. Oh, we'll go for the seven, eight. That's one and a half pound of potatoes. One and a half pound of potatoes from four tops in ten inch pots. The potatoes are now back in the pots growing on. 
we've got a meal for two absolutely wonderful wouldn't you say a meal for two we haven't even lifted a potato they're all back in the pots we've got 12 potatoes there a pound and a half from four sets in four 10 inch pots I would call that success, wouldn't you?